So a friend of mine wanted me to make a movie in Israel, and he sent me many, many scripts. They were all fantastic, but nothing really clicked that, you know, is a project that I need to make. And then eventually he said, okay, just what would be the one topic that you would come to Israel and make a movie? And I said immediately, the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin, Prime Minister Rabin. <laughs> A few facts, I'm coming from the same community, so we know each other. We're a bit not related, but we, we know each other. Our father playing in the same synagogue, and I know I used to raise with uh, his youngest brother. I was a religious kid uh, till sixth grade, and I raised upon the values of the Torah also. And I'm coming from a Yemenite warm family, so we have some similarities. Um, as, as a base. So it felt to me like it's a meant to be kind of thing for me to, to play this, uh, this character. On a uh, national level, it's of, you know, trauma for Israel. That, that trauma uh, was sort of waiting uh, for someone to tell and, and I was uh, luckily presented with this opportunity. He said, let's go and do that. So that was the first step. And then uh, I decided to approach Ron Leshem who now wrote, I mean, he's the, the writer behind Euphoria, which is a fantastic show by itself. And Ron Leshem and I, we sat together and decided how are we going to tell this story, how are we going to approach the story, from what angle. And we realized that the most powerful, the, the one that will gain the most amount of insights would be through the journey of the assassin, who is sitting right here. That, that was the, uh, the idea. And why? Because the assassin can take us through the sort of seeing what worked on him, what kind of forces acted on him, to lead him from a, relatively speaking, moderate political activist to someone who would end up shooting at the back of a prime minister, a 73-year-old man. Let me say to you, the Palestinians, in a loud and a clear voice, we are today giving peace a chance so that our children will no longer experience the painful cost of war. Part of the uh, mythology in Israel is that he's crazy, that he's outside of the sort of society. And what I discovered is that it's the opposite, exactly the opposite. He was really part of society, actually a person who was a leader in society. So I, 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 I found a charismatic person and that was made it even harder. Yaron gave me the opportunity to do the method acting. I decided, okay, I'm going with them, I trust you completely, and I, I'm diving in. So I became religious, and for like five months, I wear the costume, you know, tzitzit, kippah, and everything. I went to the synagogue three times a day. Yaron fed me with so much information, like videos, because I couldn't see him, I couldn't meet him. So I based it on the videos that he sent me and the testimonies and what he said on court. And I read so much, so much of his words in order to understand his logic. And I called Yaron and I told him, okay, I understand it all. Now I talk so passionately and I, and I remember that it's, it wasn't me at the moment because I, I spoke in a way that I never, I, I never spoke before. It wasn't me completely because I don't use the word. I don't use his words, and I and I'm not keeping the, you know, this religious way. We have responsibility. Society has responsibility on all level of gatekeepers of society. You know, starting from the leaders, prime minister, president, to communicate to the country, especially under crisis and other situation of extreme conflict is to be able to calm down uh, society and be more, uh, you know, sort of on a gathering level rather than separating and inciting and, and increasing conflict for the gain of politics. So that's number one, just to look around us, be aware of what's happening, listen to what we're hearing, and if it invokes violence in us, if it invokes hatred in us, to be aware and deal with it immediately. I mean, if that would be one thing that would come out of this movie, I'll be very happy.